Hey, it's Pete. Welcome back to the workshop. It's time to see if I can actually repair the bearing journal at the top of our rocket ride. The shaft is super scored up. We got the shaft into the lathe last time around with the damaged part hanging off the tail end. I designed the steady rest large enough in hopes of sneaking a boring bar through it to clean up the damaged surface. I got this 15 inch boring bar and that will be long enough if I can just find a way to hold it in the lathe. I could only find a tool holder that would go up to a one inch diameter and this tool is inch and a quarter, so I'm gonna have to do a little bit of modifying. I need to machine a little bit out of the inside of this tubing so that the boring bar will fit. Unfortunately, right now the lathe is tied up with the shaft, so I'm gonna try to back the shaft out just far enough and hold it with a ratchet strap so that I can get this piece in and do the work to it that I need to do. So I guess this is the moment of truth. In my estimation, this is either going to work very poorly or it's gonna fail miserably. There's just so much unsupported tool hanging out. I'm just gonna go slow and steady and see what we can make it do. Okay, well that's something. I'm just gonna keep pecking away at it. Okay, I can sort of machine it. Uh, still getting a ton of chatter marks, but it's a much more consistent surface than we had before. 
In the last video, I mentioned a plan B of using a tool post grinder to try to machine this shaft. Unfortunately, that plan has been nixed. When I pulled the uh, tool post grinder out, started to look at it, I realized it needed far too much repair work uh, to actually use it right now. That uh, may or may not be the subject of a future project. So I'm going to attempt to make a shear tool out of a piece of uh, high-speed steel rod. First thing I need to do is make a bar to hold the shear tool. For that, I'm going to use this remnant that I had laying around. And then I'm going to attempt to grind the correct profile on the end of the rod. Now I'm not going to go into the specifics of how a shear tool differs from a regular lathe tool. Uh, both Mr. Pete and uh, ABOM79 have great videos on the subject, so if you're interested, go check them out. I can't look at this welding anymore. I gotta smooth that out. So we're starting to get there on this. We're gonna finish this up at uh, 3.75, three and three quarters of an inch. Uh, Cause that seems like a decent bearing size. And we did clean up all of the scoring, so we're going to have uh, what looks like to be a good uh, a good journal. It's actually still a little little pit right there, but I think by the time we get down to 375, it's going to clean up. Since I've proven to myself that I can get a reasonable finish, I'm going to go back to the carbide tool for a while. I got quite a bit more metal to hog away, and the shear tool is not designed for that job. Each pass takes quite a while to run, and since I have to be out here babysitting the lathe anyways, I figured I'd take that time to try to strip the paint off the shaft. I'm incredibly impressed with how the citrus strip did on this piece. 
I will leave a link to it as well as some of the other tools and materials I used on this project down in the video description below. We still aren't down to final size, but I want to verify this will polish up. Three hours later. We're about 15 to 20 over right now. And I really don't want to do much more until I get the bearing. And the bearing has not arrived yet. The camera ran out of storage space, so we joined this painting already in progress. That kicked way faster than I'd hoped. I thought I was actually going pretty light on the hardener. Well, this should sand up pretty nice though. So we've got another piece primed. We really need to start picking ride colors. I've proven to myself that I can get the kind of surface finish that I want out of this setup. So once the bearing arrives, we'll take this down to its final size and finish this part of the project. If you wanna see how this project started and follow along, click those links to the left and come along for the ride.